In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve percent problems. There are two main ways that are used to solve percent problems. In this video, we're going to focus on the translating method, where we translate all the keywords in the percent problem into a mathematical equation, and then solve that equation. What's nice about solving the percent equation is we solve it just like always. We'll do any simplifying first and then solve for the variable. So let's take a look at an example where we can solve a percent equation. Here we're asked to find what is 70% of 40. We'll start by translating all the key words in this, in this sentence into an equation. What, that's the variable, that's what we're looking for, is is always going to translate to our equals. 70 is already a number. Percent per 100, per 100, 1 over 100 as a decimal is 0 0.01 of, that means we multiply, 40, already a number. And we see we come up with this equation that can be used to answer the question. x is equal to 70 times 0 0.01 times 40. Let's see if we can solve this. With solving, the first step is to do any simplifying that can be done on the left and right side. On the left side, we just have x. On the right side, we have a big multiplication problem. This is easily done on our calculators, 70 times 0 0.01 times 40, and we find out x is equal to 28. This problem's nice in that there's no more solving to do after we simplify each side of the equation. What is 70% of 40? 28 is 70% of 40. Let's take a look at one more example where we solve the percent problem by translating the key phrases. Here we're asked 45% of what is 70? Translating first, 45's already a number. Percent, that's our point zero 0.01 of its multiplication. What, that's our variable, is, becomes our equal sign, and 70 is already a number. Now that we've gone through and translated, we can balance on the equal sign and solve it for our variable. First thing we always do is any simplifying, and you'll notice that we can do a little multiplication at the beginning here. 45 times 0 0.01 is 0.45x equals 70. And then finally, we just have to get our variable x alone by dividing both sides by 0.45. When we do, we find out x is equal to, and on our calculator, 70 divided by 0.45 is 155.56, rounding it to two decimal places. And we've answered our question, 45% of what is 70? 45% of 155.56 is 70. By translating each of these key phrases in the question, we can make an equation that we can quickly solve to answer the question.